Am I the asshole? For uninviting my stepson from our anniversary trip to Disney World? My husband had a surprise gift to celebrate our first wedding anniversary, a trip to Disney World for the whole family this summer. Our kids are close in age but have very different personalities. My son is an extrovert, has a very active social life and does a lot of activities. My stepson is an introvert that prefers to stay home and does not have much going on in his life outside of school. They still have a good relationship, even playing video games together sometimes. My son was not on board with the Disney World idea at all. He had not interest in doing this kind of trip with his family and was specially upset because it would make him miss his current girlfriend's birthday. He was really angry about the situation, yelling at me multiple times demanding to stay at home instead of going to the trip and accusing us of ruining his life. On the other hand, my stepson was really excited about the trip. My husband is used to having a kid with no friends when doing plans like this so he didn't expect my son's reaction. I felt that going just with my stepson would be anticlimactic and wouldn't fulfill the original idea of it being a trip for the whole family. I also didn't want to leave my son fully alone with all the house to himself. We decided to leave them both so my stepson can keep an eye on my son's behavior while me and my husband have a romantic trip just for the two of us. My stepson is sad because he wanted to go to the trip but my son is happy about the new plan. My stepson was more intense about his disappointment at first, crying and whining a lot, but he has mostly calmed down by now. I asked my son to try to include his stepbrother a little in his social life while we are out so he wouldn't be so lonely and he said he would try to. My husband feels bad for his son being sad but I am convinced this is the best solution for everyone. Am I the asshole? You're the asshole. No wonder your kid acts like an entitled brat. He throws a tantrum like a three-year-old and you give him whatever he wants. You're the asshole what in the evil stepmother vibes is this? You're punishing your stepson because of your son's behavior? Will he need to sweep the fireplace too while he's home? You're the asshole. Wow. You basically punished your stepson because your son didn't want to do something. Huge jar. Info you are convinced this is the best solution for everyone. Please elaborate how this is the best solution for your stepson. Or does he not count as a part of everyone? Erta. My son had a tantrum so we're going to give him what he wants because nothing matters more than my son's happiness. You suck. You're the asshole. Introvert does not equal no social life. Your husband bought tickets for the whole family, your son had the issue. You should have found proper accommodations for your son, if you didn't want him alone. Having your stepson stay home, is not the best solution. You're the asshole. You're not just depriving the 17 year of a trip he really wanted to go on, but you're making him responsible for monitoring your 16 year while you and your husband get to have a romantic getaway. Your stepson did nothing wrong and doesn't deserve to have the trip taken away from him. He was enthusiastic and looking forward to the trip. Your son's behavior, on the other hand, was entitled and immature, but he gets to stay home like he wanted to. You're being horribly unfair to your stepson. Don't punish him for your son's behavior. My husband is used to having a kid with no friends. You honestly sound a bit disdainful of your stepson. Also, kids scatter in the summer. Families go on holidays, kids go to camp or work at camp, they get jobs, etc. You could easily have explained to your son that being away for a week or two is not the end of the world and that his girlfriend would still be there when he gets back. You're the asshole. Holy fuck you're the asshole. So, because your son is an R, you think it's okay to punish your SS? Your husband and stepson should go on the trip together, and you should stay behind with your spoiled brat of a son. That is what would be fair. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Your son manipulated you into leaving him home, so to make it easier on yourself you're punishing your stepson by disinviting him? So your stepson bears the brunt if your bad parenting choices? And you know that your son won't listen to anything your stepson says if you're not there. 
so you are also putting him in a terrible position. How are you not being an R to your stepson? And it's time for his dad to step up and advocate for him. You're the asshole. He doesn't get to go to a trip that he was really looking forward to because your son doesn't want to go and without him it's pointless. You don't see how your tar when typing this out? You're the asshole was it important you get to Disney even without the kids because you were trying out for evilest stepmother? You're the asshole your son is a teen not a toddler screaming and throwing tantrums, terrible parenting punishing the stepson to please your son shame all around. You're the asshole and so is your husband for letting you do this to his son. You're the asshole. Nice of you to put yours and your son's desires first. Why don't you force your son to come to Disney so you can have your family trip? Why force your stepson only? I hope the father realizes you don't have his son's best interest at heart and takes him on that trip. Erta, uh, you left your stepson home because your bio son wanted to stay home. That's giving OMG my real children are so much more important and on top of that making him watch your son? That's really messed up. Your son threw a tantrum but I guarantee he would have been fine once he got there. Also, how is Disney even remotely romantic? It's a theme park. You are an asshole your stepson wants to go but can't because you're forcing him to stay home. The same reason you won't force your son to go should be the same reason why you don't force him to stay behind. Don't do that to him. If you are so concerned about him being alone have a neighbor drop in on him or have him stay at a friend's house. Your son is not a 17 years old's responsibility when it suits you. You're the asshole. You should have made your son go on the trip. Not the other way around. You're the asshole x100 parent your child. Damn. You're the asshole big time. You're like one of those evil stepmothers. I won't be surprised if your stepson will go North Carolina to both you and your husband. Your husband is a spineless father and you're the evil stepmother. It makes sense that your own son is an entitled brat. You're the asshole. Your son pitched a fit like a toddler so you punished your stepson to appease him? Of course you're the asshole. The fact that your 16 year old can't figure out how to behave like a mature human being is not your stepson's fault I'm pretty sure if the roles were reversed you'd be pissed your stepson was unhappy, yet you don't seem at all concerned that your own child is whining like a 4 year old. Your blatant favoritism is astounding. You're the asshole evil stepmom vibes. Do better. Gross. You're the asshole seems like the problem is your son, why should the stepson that did want to go suffer because of someone else's tantrum? It is not the best solution for your stepson, it is the best solution for you and you alone. You're the asshole. The lack of empathy in your part it's horrible. You're the asshole. Your kid has a fit and gets to stay home. So you make stepson stay home also? You and your husband are both assholes. Used to having a kid with no friends. Crying and whining a lot btw this is exactly what your son did. The way you speak about your stepson is very telling. Anyway, you seem like one of those moms whose kids are in charge of them. Time to grow a fucking spine and parent your child. You're the asshole. Yes? You're the asshole. You had one son that was actually looking forward to this trip and another not. You should haven't uninvited the one that actually wanted to it up to him by inviting him again and admitting your faults. Don't punish him bc your other son didn't want to go. You're the asshole. Your stepson wanted to spend time with you didn't want to spend time with him. I hope you see Cinderella in Disneyland you're exactly the evil stepmom. You have a stepson and are making him work instead of spending time together as a family. You're the asshole big time on this one. Wow. Yes, you're the asshole. Why refer to your stepson as acting like a baby, when your own son did the same? Poor stepson the only way for him to get heard would be to act like an entitled brat like your son. He was clearly excited but because the king decided he didn't want to go and obviously he isn't not well behaved, you are using your stepson as a mental crutch. Just go the three of you. 
or force your son to come. I don't see why you changed your plans just for him and made your stepson suffer at the same time. Three people is still a family. Your son is the one who doesn't want to be included. Be a mom to your SS and let him join you. You're the asshole. It sounds like the root of the problem here is that you don't trust your son to be on his own while the rest of you are on your trip. That's a problem, but it's something to be worked out between you and him. Your stepson doesn't need to be punished for it. If someone has to stay and supervise your son, you or your husband should, not him. You're the asshole. Are there any family or friends in the area that can keep your son giving in to on? And basically, punishing the other by making the stepson stay home to babysit. You're the asshole. Should have made your son go on the trip. Stepson got punished because your son had a little tantrum because no doubt his high school girlfriend has been whining about her birthday and can't have him go away for a few days. Your son won't be inviting him anywhere your son will be with his girlfriend the whole time. And you know it. Even the way you described the stepson as crying and whining when it's exactly what your kid did only you made him sound less like a child. You're the asshole and blatantly favoring your son over your stepson. You also seem like you look down on your stepson for not being as social and popular as your son. A romantic trip to Disneyland. Ha ha ha. You're the asshole. Your son throws a tantrum and gets his way. Your stepson is rightfully sad, and he's a whiner. You are not very nice. I hope your husband sees you for what you are. No. It's the best solution for you. Certainly not the best solution for everyone. You choose your son over stepson. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You are punishing your stepson by taking away a vacation you already told him he was going on, when your son is the one being a dick. You said your stepson is an introvert, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have any friends, right? Let him bring a friend along instead, and make your son stay with a family member if you don't want him left alone. You're the asshole. You've seen the other comments, so you know why. You're the asshole. Tell me you are a stepmom without calling yourself that. Jeez. BTW your husband sucks too. You're the asshole. You're punishing your stepson for your son's behavior. If you can't see how awful that makes you then you're beyond help. You're the asshole and a bad parent and your husband is a worse one. Cruel is the term I would use to describe taking away a trip from a kid to watch his misbehaving and bratty stepbrother. Great way to show both of the kids who the favorite is and bonus points for showing your son all he has to do to get his way is have a tantrum like a three-year-old. Again, I repeat, cruel. You're the asshole you uninvited your stepson because your son didn't want to go? That's disgusting to prioritize like that. You owe your stepson an apology. You're the asshole. Turning your son into an entitled little brat by allowing his temper tantrums to ruin things for his stepbrother. Seriously. He is 16. It was a trip to Disney, does he even understand how many people never get such an opportunity? And fine, want to leave him home, do so. Stepson should have been given the option to invite a friend or family member shocker but we introverts do have friends. Or to go himself. This was sad, borderline abusive, and entitled. Your poor stepson. You're the asshole. Why are you punishing your stepson for your son being an R? That's pretty shitty. So stepson isn't good enough to be worthy of a Disney trip but he's good enough to stay home and babysit your teenage brat? A kid he only has one year over and thus no real authority to truly keep him in line. Seriously? You're the asshole and you know it. Want to keep an eye on your kid either stay home or take him with you. Huh. Evil step parents actually exist. You're the asshole. You're the asshole one child doesn't get to take a trip they were really excited about cause your kid is a typical teenage brat and you don't see an issue with this. BTW us introverts aren't less or sad and lonely because we don't want to be around people all the time. Uck. You're the asshole. You're the asshole 100. You're the asshole.
You really don't think much of your stepson do you? Doesn't have much going on in his life has no friends, huh? So when your son acts up like a spoiled brat, you reward his behavior by letting him stay home you punish your stepson taking away something you promised him he was excited about. Well enjoy this first anniversary trip because if your husband has any kind of backbone a half decent father, this will be your last anniversary.